we're gonna run this 18 foot American made sled style open boat, open 18 foot boat. Right now, we're just kind of getting it out of the marina there. We got its twin out here too as well. So we've got the flooring put down, EVA flooring on the bottom here. The seats are out of it, but they just, they'll just be mounted right here in the middle. We've got room up here in the bow, storage up here, cup holders, mounting rail around the side, even got EVA foam in there. Console's a little taller. This console being taller is nice. You can inset your electronics in here or put them on top. Um, I'm six foot one and I can stand up straight, hold the wheel at the right height so I can run it while I'm driving if you can see how I, how I mean here. So about right, I can sit or stand at this height. Uh, it's designed to be right there. You got a battery cutout switch. It's got a bilge pump, uh, navigation lights, an accessory, uh, a couple accessories, uh, batteries in the console. Uh, we've got nice setup because we've got interchangeable tanks in here, fuel water separator in there. Super cool boat, excited to run it today because these things are really fun to drive. They're extremely nimble, uh, it's very stable. As you can see, all my weight out to the side of the boat, look at the horizon, look at the boat. Maybe I'll do it this way so you can even see it better, I'm even in the bow. But that's me standing on the side, that's the boat to the horizon. I mean, we've got like a three degree list. It is nothing at all. So pretty cool. Uh, we'll get some footage, you'll see the drone footage on the video too, but we'll get some footage. We've got uh, its sister ship, pretty much identical. This one has a 70 horse, but doesn't have the rails on it. The other one has rails on it. It's a uh, 50 horse. So you can see it out here running. Uh, that's still running that boat there. But you can see here, right there, that bow sits high, just barely going to an idle there. Planes, these things will plane with basically no throttle. Uh, and they don't take much at all. So we'll go ahead and give it a little throttle. There we go. Go playing out right here. You can kind of see how it looks like that in the water. There. Bow sits up high on them when they're underway here. I like the way they do that. Solid keel. Very fun boats. Very fishable boats. Utility style. Nothing to go wrong on them. Overbuilt. Very heavily built. Uh, 160 bottoms, 125 sides, uh, stringer grid through the whole bottom of it. So, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, well, my boat's got this thickness on the bottom. Well, that's great, but how is that supported? That also matters too on a lot of these boats. So don't get tricked by just having a thicker bottom like on a North River where you can get the other. So there's the other boat underway. All right, we're gonna run it. You can see us on the drone. Okay, here at Breen Marine, we've got two brand new American made, that's actually the brand name, is American made out of Medford, Oregon. Two brand new, all aluminum, uh, 18 foot center console boats with Yamaha outboards. I'll show you the difference between them. We have two of these in stock. They're a really popular boat. P previous owners of the, or the owners that have these out right now love these boats. They're extremely utilitarian, very easy to use, last forever nothing hardly on the maintenance just engine maintenance pretty much and some basic stuff so one of the easier boats to own and uh, they are fun to drive and they they hold flat not much not much listing at all while you're 
while you're walking around in it. It's a very stable platform too with lots of fishability. Uh, so fun boats for all kinds of conditions and places. We do have spare tires on both boats. This is an all aluminum trailer. And if you look, it's the radius aluminum. So it's nice and smooth and curved, not sharp edges. It has the, uh, they both have the uh, winches up front here on the stanchion with adjustability and then a safety cable on the front swing away jack up there we have one difference this boat's got a stationary navigation light the other one is a plug-in style so that one will actually get plugged in here in this cover open that up you plug it in uh, we've got white speckle black paint with this and then over on this boat, we've got a gray speckle with speckle black. And we also have two matching chairs for this. And I also want to make sure we mention this in the video. There's also a seat for the main helm too. It's a removable pedestal seat. So you can stand up and drive. You can just take it out get rid of it if you want it gone. Or you can just move it around the boat as you'd like for fishing or whatever you're doing, your different activities. Um, this boat does have the rails. So we'll call this boat number one. Boat number one has the rails on it, which are nice looking square rails. And this is the same seats that you'll see in the other one, except this one, the other one has a darker gray and black versus just the lighter gray. This one has these two lighter gray, and then it also has the stand-up stanchion. As you know, they both have matching uh, EVA foam floors in them on top of solid metal decks. So like I said, inside here, there's there's no it's all aluminum there's no wood or anything in the transom or in the in anywhere in this boat this is a wood free boat um, they despise wood over at American Bay I think it's ridiculous uh, consoles have slight differences on it this one has bullhorns on it and then on the other side this console is the taller dash so you can inset your electronics if you would like so it's a little bit taller in there even though the steering's the same height on both so the steering height is the same. You got that, battery switches on both of them, storage areas and fuel tanks, the same two uh, six gallon tanks inside. So both of them have removable uh, tanks and there's six gallons on each tank. So that, uh, they have a 12 gallon reserve and each one will last you a long run on one of these boats. They're incredibly fuel efficient. They plane at like five miles an hour. They still have some, a little bit of a dead rise to them so they can break down some chop but they're stable and they're nice. They have a uh, they have a a delta pad on the back of both of these. I'll go ahead and show you here. You look here; it's a flat area, so the boat's coming down here at a V, and then it goes flat right here in the middle, um, up towards the front. And there's a little bit of a point that just pulls cleaner, uh, cleaner, less aerated water into the prop, so you get a little bit better performance out of them, as well as if you want to use a jet. Uh, if you want to raise it up and put a jet on one of these, that's uh, possible as well with that. With that. Uh, we have the side rails on this boat. No rails back here. This one right here has a... Uh, this one right here has a 70 horse Yamaha on this. So this is a 70 horse. And this one over here we have is a 50 horse. So this is a 50 horse. So the white one, boat number one is a 50 horse. Boat number two is the 70 horse. They're priced out the same. So we just did two different configurations. This one's got a little bit more detail on it and whatnot, while the other boat has a bigger motor on it. And so you get a little bit difference in that, in that area. Uh, loading and, and launching on these trailers is awesome. Uh, they're so easy to load and launch on. They slide right up, self-center. They both got chine guides on, on both of them. So there's chine guides so that slips you right in there and then they have enough V and then all the bunks in there are, uh, they have the UHMW coating on them. So the boat just slides right into the center really well. So very easy to load and launch this boat. It's gonna be one of the easiest boats to own. Another nice thing about these on both of them, that one's got the battery off, is they won't touch the ground at a full down motor. So that's all the way down. As you can see, it won't touch that. And this bow is even raised up. It's not even as high as it normally would be. So if you pull out of the water on the ramp and you forget 
to pull your drive up or lift up the motor, it's not gonna drag and make a fool out of you on the ramp and everybody hear you dragging the skeg up. So that's gonna be something that's gonna make a lot more sense. It's gonna be easy to do and you're not gonna have to sit there and worry about, uh, did I put the motor up or not when you pull out? So that's a big thing to, to, to not have to worry about and boating, anything that makes your, your life a little easier and automates stuff a little bit is really nice. So right here on Highway 101, uh, we're a smaller dealership, but we're ready to make a deal on these boats. Uh, give us a call, hit us up online. We're happy to answer any questions that we can about it, but uh, let's get a deposit on and come down from wherever you're at, pick it up. Awesome place to visit here. Uh, but we're right here in Florence, Oregon on the Oregon coast. So make a little trip of it, come and get your boat. Really awesome boats. You're gonna like it.